What the fuck is up? Welcome back to my channel. Yeah, get ready. Do you think you can handle? Subscribe right now. Stay steady on the channel. And it's Rick TV. We gonna put your ass a shambles. What is up, everybody? As you guys can see by the title today, I'm gonna be bringing y'all to the barbershop with me so y'all can see how I get my fades. Cause everybody stay asking me, like, where you get your hair cut at? That fade is dope. Da -da 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 -da. And I'm finna put y'all on to game. That's it. This haircut that I get, I always get the same haircut. I never ever get any different haircut or any. I always go in there, I sit down, he does what he does. This barber in particular, I've been with him for a very long time. You guys will meet him later. The barbershop's right in my city, right in downtown Lowell. It's a really really popular barbershop a lot a lot of people go there so if you're seeing this you might be in this video okay and you might not because i might just edit you out if i don't fuck with you right now my hair is looking a total mess so this is what it looks like right now it looks bad i need a haircut like you can just tell so yeah it looks like shit and i'm finna get it fixed it looks like shit and i'm finna get it hit my hair looks like shit and i'm finna get it fixed hey 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 who's who finna put me who wants to see ricky in the studio comment down below if you guys want to know how i get my hair cut keep on watching we're gonna head to the barbershop in a little bit. My appointment's at one and it's now 12, 11. So we have, I'm gonna go like make some breakfast, chill. All right guys, so I'm here in my kitchen. I'm about to show y'all what's up. I'm about to show y'all a nigga that could cook. If you want you a man that could cook. I'm about to show you a man that could cook. Alrighty guys, so I'm in my kitchen. I got my eggs going right here, guys. I wanna show you guys. <gasps> Oh, I just dropped most of the eggs. Y'all can see that. Y'all know what's in there. Anyways, I got my eggs nice and ready to go. I think I might just do one more egg. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Oh, I did it, guys! That was so cool. Okay, you're cutting like shit it everywhere, but... That counts. That counts, y'all. Next, I'm going to mix these eggs up because I like my eggs scrambled. So I like to put cheese in my eggs, guys. You don't put cheese in your eggs and you eat shit. I'm walk, walk. So I just finished my breakfast sandwich. Thumbnail. Mm -hmm. I don't know my thing goes on while I wait for my appointment to start. What you know, huh? Say hey, what's up, test, bitch. What you know? Nothing. To be honest, I don't really care if you're talking shit about me right now because I can't hear you. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I want to see it. I'm sorry, um. Mmm, mmm. I'm gonna fucking smack. Oh, bitch, I can't be. Oh, I'm ready to go. Breathe. You know when you get that chest pain? That's what it was. Where'd it go? Mm -hmm. It's gone, y'all. Look. Now you see it? Now you don't. Alright, y'all. Let's go to the barbershop. Alright, guys. I'm getting ready to step out in this cold. Do not go outside stay inside stay warm don't leave your house i'm leaving right now for selfish reasoning all right let's go Woo! that'll smack you right in the face that'll knock you the fuck out whoever wants to get knocked out go outside for me real quick all my enemies go outside why is it this motherfucking cold that's what i'm trying to tell myself like why bitch is freezing bitch might have to throw that hoodie on real quick this is where it happened right here where that guy tried to harass me, right there, that's the spot. He tried to, he literally tried to pull up on me, like, what's up? I said, nigga, I don't know what you talking about. Bye, it's cold. I'm here at the store. What should I get, guys? What should I get? Should I just get a water and be healthy? 99 cents? That sounds like my price. <laughs> All right, guys, we're here at the barbershop, guys. This is the barbershop right here. 11, um, I think Central Street. Yo, what's the address here? Mark. Yo, Kaloka and Ricky. That's Mark. That's Jose. Ricky. Andy, uh, Andy. This is my barber, Jose. What's up, Mark? Mark. I'm gonna bless my client. You heard? Read the back. JC Chimes, that's my Instagram. Don't follow that shit. It's our cloud DJ Wiz official. I'm Jose. About to get this cut started, you heard? Alright, guys, so we're about to get this haircut. 
started. Alright, so this is the first step, guys. Let's get this started. Alright, what kind of haircuts do you guys get? Comment down below if you guys think I should try something. Because, like I said, I always do the same thing. So, if you guys have any haircut suggestions, shoot them. Shoot them this way. I probably won't do them, but shoot them anyway. Leave it in the comment below. Yo. This is how to get the perfect face. Alright, guys, what you need to do first? Line the machine. Line the machine. Get a line across. To start up the bottom line to get a clean face. If your barber don't know, you might want to have him watch this video. Okay, he will learn something. Everybody, when they do a vlog, they come straight to the barber. It's like the third person that goes to the barber. You know what? Motherfuckers got to look good when they vlog. Exactly. You need to see the transformation. Yeah, you can see the transformation. Okay, the transition. Transformation, not even a transition. It's not a transition. Mm -hmm. The transition. And it's talking about we're trying to change the sex over here and shit. <laughs> Guys, nobody get offended over that. You yeah. get offended. I love gay people. Because he really said transitioning. Like, <laughs> we're transforming. We're going from yeah. one thing to another. Not. We're going nothing to something. Right. You know? Nothing to Start from the bottom over here. That's Transition is something to something. And like and we're going you see me in the background talking shit. I was saying, you're academic, so I'm the guy in the gray suit. Don't team. ever disrespect me. Academics is true. What did you say? I'm who's the first step is always said. Um, the machine, let the guard line first, you reach the hair on the Y'all even know what he's talking about. Barbara's watching this. Do y'all know what he's talking about? Comment down. Because if you don't know what he's talking about, then are you a barber? Bro, you gotta show Probably not. This is the video for you. So, no. First of all, I'm the producer here. I produce. He said you gotta turn around. So, Jose has been cutting my hair for like a really long time. I would say a really long time. I was his first person ever for him to cut his hair. I'm pretty sure, right? Yes, you were one of the first clients ever cut. Yeah. I was his test dummy. So so all the time, every time we needed to like practice, I'd be like, "Yeah, I'm coming over. You can give me a haircut, do whatever you want." I'm the OG. I'm the motherfucking OG. Son, legitimate. If I right here, send the bad boy to get a nice clean face. This is step two, y'all. Yeah. All right, Jose. So you said you mentioned earlier that you're a DJ, right? Oh man, yeah, yeah. Also, Jose is also a DJ, guys. If you guys didn't know that, so if you need your friend at parties. It'll be in the description. So Jose, what do you levitate more towards? Hair cutting or DJing better? Like, which one do you think is better? If you talk about money wise, this is my passion. Okay, so this, this is what I do all the time. Yes. And DJing, he just does it on. The, you just do it on the side like it's a hobby. Yeah, more like a hobby type thing. Okay. I've mean, always been DJing for a long time. Yeah, he been DJing. This motherfucker been DJing since 2013. Yeah, longer, oh, longer than that. Right. To I'm be just, honest, I'm just counting the days when I was at the party. So that's when I started. But this motherfucker. Go back to like what 2010? 2009, 2010, 2009. All them house parties. That's yeah, that's the one. Most of them, most of them. A good amount. A good amount. Good amount. But if you didn't know, now you know. Right. <laughs> yeah, but nowadays a lot of people are trying to be DJs and like they don't. You have to be passionate to be a DJ. You can't just. Yeah, you can't just like throw a song and a song and then fucking transition it. Like you can't do that. Yeah, you really cannot do that. You gotta have like your own like flow, your, own, right? your own style. Yeah, your own style. Or else it's just gonna be like the DJ's whack. He's playing good music, but you're whack. Transitioning you is bad. The cuts are off. Horrible. Right. It, sound, it doesn't sound good. Like you can have a good playlist, whatever. Yeah. It's good, but if you're not writing out the wave, good. But the crowd, it's not working out. Everybody's gonna say you suck. They can even talking about from you. DJ suck. That's the worst too. Like when they say the DJ sucks. The worst thing is when they start asking DJ for music is because they're sticking to one genre for so long. Is that they think that he's not gonna change anytime soon? I do that so much. I'd be like, yo, can you play this song at the club? Mm -hmm. And it's just like, switch your sucks, please. Because if somebody comes to you asking you to see. So play this song, that means you're doing a horrible job. And another thing, DJs, when you're playing reggae, don't speed up the song too much. Yeah, you don't Let the song ride, put it up like two, three BMPs, it's cool. I'm changing like 2.5 seconds. You don't want to have people fucking bumping and no grinding. Yeah, everybody's just bumping, 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 bumping. The song is 92 BPM and these guys are running it to like 104. It sounds like some freaking oven the chip on. Okay, so that's DJ talk because I don't know what he just said. It means when you hear a regular song and they speed it up too quick and the voices 
it starts getting high pitch. Okay. Because yeah. the song is going too quick, so there's no point of dancing. You're just going to be sweating the whole time. DJs don't do that. Have you ever had like a bad client? Have you ever been? I'm no. a complicated customer. Not really. You're not complicated. It's just you like switching up sometimes. And yeah. it's not it's not bad. It's your haircut. Right. I'm here for you. You're my boss. You tell me what to do. It's your haircut. Okay. So if you want someone you can boss around right here, your hand. they give you the right haircut that you want. So what's like so an experience that you've had with like a horrible customer? I had somebody once that came in and gave himself a haircut. Messed it up. Uh-uh. And he told me to fix it. And then he said I messed it up when it was already messed up. And you know, I was trying to fix it for him. And he was How bad. does that make sense? He pushed back your line. He pushed back his lineup and tried to make it seem like if I could put back his hair for him. Like, <laughs> nigga took too much off and now he wants some back on. That's crazy. I'm not, I'm not a magician, you know? Unless you use root touch-up, which they got. If you push back your hairline, don't worry, they got you. Root cover-up. Don't worry, they got you. Right nice and crispy clean. For all you bald motherfuckers out there, they got you. Yeah, just the spot. I'm mm -hmm. telling you guys. They'll have you with the crispest, cleanest hairspray lineup ever. But trust me, when a haircut looks crispy, doesn't look like where your hairline's at, probably they pushed it back. <laughs> <laughs> it just always looks bad when your shit's pushed back. Yeah, then it grows in and you see like a double lineup. I feel like that really is the worst, like when your shit's pushed back. Yeah. The fade can't get bad. It's like, it's a fade. You, just, like, you shouldn't be cutting hair. Okay, so if you mess up a fade, you suck. Give up your career. If you mess up a fade, that means you're not good at a blow up. Because a fade's a giant blow up. In other words, a tape right here first. Fuck up a fade with your fucking job. You shouldn't be a barber. For life. And if you are, you're trying to be a barber and you're not that good, stay at home. Not that good, what's the deal? No sir, but not today. Y'all heard that? My motherfucking book. Book, uh, uh. If you guys want to schedule an appointment, download the cut. It shows all the time. You pick the haircut, you pick the time. I just put the hours that I work, and you pick the time to come in. That's, That's it. it. It's that easy. So if you want a haircut, y'all better book y'all shit early, because a motherfucker gets booked. I work every day, Monday through Sunday, no days off. It's not bad. Theory, do you ever have days where you just don't want to come into work? Uh, sometimes, yeah. And then you just come in and it's just like, all right. Yeah, after I thought come in and such cut, it's just like, that's everybody, you know? Not everybody wants to order. And you come in and it's just like, uh, I come in sometimes, I was like, I don't want to work. And when I start cutting, I'm like, damn, the haircut came out crispy, and then my mood's right back up. So you get satisfaction out of giving your customers a great haircut. So, that's the kind of barber you guys want to look for, all right? You don't want that motherfucker that's going to give you that one and give you that line. They don't care about you. They, they don't. Especially, I take my time. Every haircut's 45 minutes. I don't rush no haircuts. Take my sweet time with them. So come on over to Expertise Cut. Get a great haircut. All right, guys. So this is the final look of this haircut. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Voila. <laughs> Make sure you guys check out Jose at JC underscore trends. That's my Instagram. Uh, Snapchat is officially underscore Jose. That's where I put up most of my pictures for all my haircuts and stuff. And if you want to check out my music and everything, it's DJ Wiz official SoundCloud. Down below, y'all. Go hit that. What you waiting for? Bruh. Say something. All right, guys. I'm going home. Cool. I don't go outside and don't give no money to the crackheads because they're not they're not buying food They doing drugs. I swear to God. Don't give your money to the crackheads. Oh my god guys I am back. What is up guys? I am back from the barbershop and I'm back at home in my lovely studio <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just so funny. All right, so that's pretty much what I do every two weeks. Every two weeks, I go and get a haircut because I there's motherfuckers that do it every week. There's motherfuckers that go every week. I go every two weeks because I don't need a haircut every week. Like that's a. F Anyways, yeah, that's what I do every two weeks. I go to the barber shop and I get a haircut. My man's Jose hooks me up, like he told you guys earlier. Below, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video and enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and comment right down below. And if you want to see more of me. You can go follow my stuff down in the link of the bio. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see y'all in the next one. Stick it. Peace out, y'all.